An early morning fire completely destroyed the SMG cabinetry operations in Mount Pleasant Village early this morning. Firefighters worked tirelessly through the early morning, but not much could be recovered. Arjuna Noel Ferguson has the story and the owners of and the future plans that is of owners of the business. An early morning fire destroyed the SMG cabinetry operations located near Mount Pleasant. Fire Branch Chief Superintendent Walter Evans said police got the call around 3.30 Thursday morning. When we got there, um, this was at around 4.45, we had two units which had arrived. First, one from Cable Beach Fire Station, the other unit from the Carmichael Road Fire Station. They met heavy flames issuing from a single-story concrete structure and also to a trailer which is used for office purposes. Officers immediately called for backup and there was a unit which joined them from headquarters which made three fire units um, in total. The SMG cabinetry fire was dangerous for firefighters. We had a situation where we had several explosions which were ongoing as a result of the paint thinner and the contact cement and other items that they may have had there which are flammable. You can see in the back of me uh, they have a stack of plywood. Are uh, they burning? They stack together Instead of using a lot of manpower, we're letting it burn out. And then once it burned out, it burned down, then we try to extinguish it. Now, when our ZNS News arrived on scene, firefighters could still be seen attempting to out this fire. According to Superintendent of Police Walter Evans, it may take a while until they get to the bottom of this. At this stage, the, an investigation has been launched into the cause of this fire. We do not know what caused the fire, but an investigation has been launched. We believe that as a result of that, there may be several hundred thousands of dollars of damages. Um, we do not have the precise figure, um, and that number perhaps may even result to maybe even to over a million dollars or maybe close to two million dollars. With a total loss, SMG Millwork employees who did not wish to be interviewed were sent home this morning. They fear they'll join the unemployment line. However, the owner, Darren Gins, assured ZNS News by phone that this does not mean the end of business. The construction company will be back in full force on Monday. We have um, 50 people that have worked for, that work at the Millwork company. Uh, it's a devastating uh, position that uh, we're in. We are trying to put together a new plan to get the uh, Millwork company back up and operational. In as, as quick as possible. Investigations into this matter continue. Janae Noel Ferguson, ZNES Network News.